Fellow Bia friends, I greet you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depends on your very location this moment. I found it imperative this moment because things are getting out of hand. But God is in control. And the Prime Minister of the Afro Republic is in control. The ground soldiers and commanders, navies, air force, and Biafra land are in control. But I want to show the world at large the impunity that is going on in Nigeria. It's truth, but it is too bitter. Because what is happening in Nigeria is that when you say the truth, they will order for your killing. They will kill you or they will tell YouTube to terminate your channel so that the truth will not be seen, so that truth will not be heard. But just to know it, that you who hate the truth, you who refuse to say the truth, you who refuse to hear the truth, you who doesn't want to set eyes on the truth it will never be well with you and your generations i am there i still remain myself truth first what i'm telling you this moment is that fgn have ordered the release of 313 terrorists which were captured by Nigeria militaries. Let us talk. Let's significantly tell ourselves the truth. For long, this has been going on. And how long will it continue? Because some people in Nigeria believe that they are born to rule and others are born to serve. And the, all of the whole of these things is being caused by religion. There's no democracy in Nigeria. What is ruling Nigeria is religion. Islamic, Muslim to Muslim ticket. I must to tell you the truth. So, for this reason, dictatorship government is far better than Nigeria government saying they are practicing democracy. Democracy with impunity. Democracy with fulanization agenda and Islamization agenda. Democracy with intimidation. I thought that democracy is the government of people and for the people and by the people. That it is what the people desire that, prefer, that, that prevails. But today, it's what the terrorist and the government of Nigeria desire, what they decided, is what will prevail. Listen, and listen good. There are, there are points, or a point, something will get to. If you are a real man, you get up. People are dying on daily basis from east, north, south, and west center of Nigeria. You can see the reason why everybody pay nonchalant attitude. Now, when the militaries who captured 313 terrorists were asked by people by other countries on earth. In fact, Nigeria is very ridiculous. Nigeria doesn't have face in the international community. Their reputation is mad. And this is why no wonder, no country wants to associate with them. When the generals from Nigeria military ask, we are asked, why did they release 
the 313 terrorists that were captured by them. They said the Nigeria court ordered them to release the 313 terrorists that were captured. And listen to me carefully. 313 terrorists were released by Nigeria Court of Justice. Nigeria Supreme Court. With immediate effect, what I'm telling you now happened on 28th of this month. If I'm not mistaken, which was yesterday. So now, how do you now say that the militaries are not trying? How do you now kajo or speak evil against some Nigeria militaries? And I want to tell you that these militaries who on their own competently captured 313 terrorists, they are not a terrorist. Go and find out their names. They don't have Islamic name. They don't have any similitude of terrorism. These are competent hands that remain in Nigeria military. As many of them were completely removed from military, right from Buhari's regime to today, for no reason. And some of them were killed and was replaced by terrorists in military uniform, in disguise. Let me, may I tell you this morning that what is ruling Nigeria is terrorist. Don't forget that recently, the, the school children that they said they were kidnapped, they negotiated with the bandit how much the bandit demanded? One trillion naira. And it was, it was paid by Nigeria federal government. N now, you may not know what is going on. They are going to buy more sophisticated ammunition. And they are going to equip themselves very well for Islamization and Fulanization which Tinibu is their leader. Tinibu is the leader of the terrorists in Nigeria. I'm telling you the truth. But he was busy accusing Simon Epa to be a terrorist. Let him wait small. Very soon, hell will be let loose in Nigeria. And he will not have anywhere to run to because all the countries on earth sees Tinibu as a threat. You can go ahead and say whatever you want to say. You can insult me as well. But don't worry. What others, others saw, you are going to see it. Why is it so that these terrorists were not tried? Why is it so that there is no hearing of their cases? You see what they put to their suspected terrorist. And they are busy killing Igbos in Imo State, in Ebo, in Abia, Enugu, and Anambra. And the Igbo politicians remain mute because they have paid them by the federal government. Now, as things were, Tell me how the Nigeria terrorists now can be released and Mazen Namdekano have been in the DSS custody heading to three years today. And he is not even a suspected terrorist. The whole world vindicated him. He is a sensationist, whatever you may call him. He's fighting for freedom. He's a freedom fighter. 
He's fighting for the freedom of his people, of their friends. He's fighting for self-determination, which is not a criminal offense. He is fighting for self-defense. And the federal government of Nigeria proscribed him to be a terrorist. Which America declared him free from terrorism. America have warned the Nigeria government to release him as an Amdekano and compensate him for infringing his human right because Nigeria government is a kidnapper. They kidnapped him from Kenya down to Nigeria illegally, holding him down in the DSS custody, wearing one cloth for barely three years now. But terrorists who were caught red-handed killing people with sophisticated weapons were ordered by the court of Nigeria to be released. Army chief confirmed this when he was called, he was called and when Niger other nations on earth were scolding them for harboring terror terrorists and funding terrorism. He let them know that court ordered them to release the terrorists. Now, who is the court? Court now is Tinibu. Tinibu is the court. He has the final say. Don't forget that when Mazen Amdekano was released, discharged, and acquitted, that Buhari and Malami stood against it, that he will not be released. The whole world is aware of what I'm saying, that I'm saying the truth. If you fight me, you die. I'm telling you the truth because you don't know who is speaking. I am in your midst. And I'm saying the truth. And I will continue saying the truth. Why should the innocent person, for the reason that he's fighting for his freedom, he's fighting for his right, he's fighting to save his people, their friends, be jailed forever? And the terrorist, which is forbidden, or forbidden everywhere in the world, are gallivanting and celebrating in the street, in every state, 36 states of Nigeria, including FCT, 37. And nobody is talking about it. They are killing human beings like flies. Nigeria and their government take it as a custom and tradition. Nobody is saying anything. Because Northerners believe that every other Nigeria, every other person in Nigeria is under their control. And they are the only one who speaks and stands. And these Northerners are only Muslims. If you don't know, you should understand that Tinibu have interior motive of coming to be to, to, to of, of becoming a president of Nigeria. You people have not seen the preparations and the items that Tinibu come with. Very soon, you people's eyes will clear because many of you you don't want to hear hear from me. You don't want to hear about me. You don't want to see anything about me you will keep, begin to kick me, kill him, terminate his channel, do this, do that. Uh, do you think that terminating my channel will stop the disaster that is ahead of Nigeria? Do you think that terminating my channel will stop Nigeria from collapsing? Do you think that terminating my channel will stop the disintegration of Nigeria? Do you think that hating me and hating my voice, hating my channel, will make Nigeria to remain one. Nigeria have already disintegrated. Nigeria have already divided right from Buhari's regime. And this tells you that both 
the judge and the terrorist Antinibu are one.